Hi guys, it's Miss Shapslot, and I'm here with a haul today. I have a group of things that I bought online, and then the rest, well, not online, local, I guess. Um, the rest of it is all thrifted. I did get some mystery bags, Christmas bags, um, because there was like one thing in each that I knew I wanted, and then the rest is kind of a surprise, maybe a bust, I don't know. Um... And then, of course, I got some random stuff, but I did get some really, really good stuff. Um, so we're going to jump right in. Oh, and I wanted to ask if you guys want to see a video of the things I thrifted for my daughter for Christmas. If you'd like to see that in a haul, um, leave a comment below and I'll do that next video. Uh, but until then, let's get into this haul. So the first thing I got were these gloves. And they're so cute. I love the quilted looking like... Chanel. They are, I believe they're Adrian Bidadani. Yeah, Bidadini. And they are touch so you can use your cell phone, which I love. So I wind up buying a bunch of uh, gloves in the winter because I don't know what happens to them. I really don't. I'll wear them once and I'll never see them again. And when I'm not looking for them in like July, I'll find them. <laughs> so uh, problems. Um, next thing I bought was this Hoot teacup infuser. He's super cute. I paid $2.49 for him. I thought I bought another one for myself, and I can't seem to find it, so I don't think I actually bought it, because I remember, like, eh, I'll put it back, and then I was like, eh, get it. Um, so I don't know if I got it or not, but if I did, I have no idea where it is. So I picked up another one for myself, and he's a little cutie, so I will be using him for my teas. Um, I picked these socks, Christmas socks, up. They were $2.99 for two pairs, which I didn't think was bad. Um, I will be throwing these in with my daughter's Christmas gifts. Uh, let's see, let's see. This guy. It is the two velvet scarf hangers. I've been just using a regular velvet scarf or velvet hanger, but I wanted something different. It was a dollar and there's two of them. So I'm going to give one to my daughter, not for Christmas because she already knows about it. <laughs> and I'm keeping one. <coughs> uh, okay. This thing, I think it is so pretty. I picked this up and it's got the... It has all the stones. It was 99 cents. It's by Pier 1. And it's just a little trinket box. But I thought it was really pretty. That I would put on my vanity. Um, this I picked up. I usually, like I said, pick up cases. Especially like Ray-Ban. These were 49 cents. And it had the cloth in it. So I picked that up. I have a bunch of Ray-Bans, so. Uh, this, I was so mad. I bought this on Mercari. I paid $11 for it, and it's fake. And it's filthy. They didn't show the back of it. They just showed the front. I was so mad. So mad. I mean, I know it's only $11, but, you know, I have gotten good deals on fake stuff, or on real stuff, so there was no reason for me to not... I mean, I think it's fake. I don't know. The sides are really soft leather. But it's just... I don't know. There's nothing inside that says it's real, so I don't know. But that was a loss. <laughs> for me, anyway. So, next, I picked up this Edward Bess Black Sea Hair Hero Infinite Style Cream for $5.49. This stuff sells pretty expensive. Um, it is brand new. I can't remember how much this sold for, but it was pretty expensive. So I picked that up to resell. I'll have to double check what it sells for. Um, then I picked up this Vitabath Jelly <laughs> um, Moisturizing Bath and Shower Gel. It is original spring green, and these sell for about $27 a bottle. I paid $1.98. If it smells good, let me see. Does it smell good? I mean, it smells all right. It smells like um, Irish Spring kind of. 
Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it or resell it. Probably resell it because I have enough bath and bath soaps. Um, I picked this up, which was, I thought was an amazing deal. And it is my tone. It is Max Studio Face and Body Foundation. It's brand new. And it was $1.48. So, incredibly good deal. Super excited about that. Um, okay, let's get into these bags. I'm so excited. Eek! Okay, let me get one second. Because I think one of them had a broken ornament. So, I don't want to open that one without a, a bag. All right, so this one, oops, sorry. This one was $1.98. And I thought the fox in it was super cute, so I picked that up, but I'm not sure how I feel. Oh, he's kind of cool. You know what? That might be old. Yeah, this might be really old. I'll have to look into him. Hold on, let me get some light over here. Oh, he's sweet. I do like him. So I picked that one, or yeah, I picked up the back. So that one was in it. Then this guy. Uh -oh. oh, this is not okay. They're all kind of stuck together. And we got this guy. He's missing an eye. I'm not quite sure what he is. I could put another eye on him. Is that a is that a dog? Is that a a llama? Ooh, what the heck we got going on here? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it because I don't know what it is. I don't get... Oh, wait. There's some thinking goes around this. Dog, I guess? I guess if I fix him, he might be cute. This is what I want. And I hear... I thought he was cool. A little fox. He's cute. I like him. This one, this is actually pretty. It's very Barbie-esque. I have a white tree, so this will actually probably look really pretty on it. So I'll probably keep that. This one, not a fan. Cute, not my style. It's more farm, farm style, whatever you want to call it. So that one I won't be keeping. This one I thought was really pretty. I don't know if it's like Mackenzie's child. Oh, wait. I don't know. I thought it looked very Mackenzie Child. It's pretty. It has some stains. I don't know if I can get those clean. Um, but it does have that. So I don't know if it's Mackenzie's Child or something else. But I think it's super pretty. Alright, so that was bag number one. Well, let's go to... Bag number, oops, bag number two, everything's collapsing. Um, so there was a, let me figure out how to do this the best way to do it. There's a Spongebob, oh, I think this is the one that's got something broken in it. There's a Spongebob guy in here that I wanted. Let me open this. Oh, this bag was $2.49. So here's a little Dora the Explorer. I have no little ones, and so I won't be keeping that. We have this penguin that says brother. I think I'm going to send that to my brother because <laughs> he's awful looking, and I always love sending him funny stuff like that. Um, right now I have a Santa that hangs on two... <laughs> he's on a hammock with two Christmas or two palm trees. I'm sending him that, so I'll put that in there with it. This is oh, it must be one of those like it's like a you put your picture in there and then it has a recording. I won't be keeping that. This is an otter. I think I like him. An otter, right? Yeah an otter. I think I'll keep the otter. This is what I got this bag for. This is for my daughter. This big glass Spongebob. He's cool. So I'm going to keep him for my daughter. Next is this little handmade wreath. 
not my style, so I will be keeping that. This is just a bow. There is a broken ornament in there. A 1992 rocking horse, which I won't be keeping. This little guy says Bob. I don't know any Bob, so I won't be keeping that guy either. Um, we have a Mickey Head Nobody. Uh, Make a Wish. 1998 limited edition things remembered that's cute but won't be keeping that this is just a mini snow globe can't see his face because of the i won't be keeping that and then these which i won't be keeping either and this guy so these I will probably, sometimes I lot them up and sell um, ornaments on eBay. I don't know if I'll do that with these, maybe, or just redonate them back. Because um, they're not my style. This one. <laughs> I got this bag. $2.49. And I'll open up this carefully we have a nativity by J I don't know something Lyle Joyce maybe Lyle they're dirty I don't know if anybody would want them I guess you could probably paint them um oh no <laughs> I'm so sad <gasps> Oh, this is why I bought this. We do an ornament exchange every year and we give a funny one to the waiter or waitress. I thought this was hilarious and he's broken. He wasn't broken before. Oh, I'm so pissed. But then again, I don't see any broken pieces in here. So maybe he was and I didn't notice. Oh, I'm so, oh, you know, I don't know. Oh, I'm so mad. This would have been hilarious. Ugh, damn it. Well, there goes this bag. <laughs> uh, this guy is from 1990. It says Julia on it. And he's got a little tree. And he looks like he's missing his tail. Oh, you guys, I am so bummed. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to see if I can do something. Fix it somehow. I probably can't, but damn it. Um, this is Chris Mouse, 1991. Now, some of these still this is hallmark some of them still are worth money um even if they have dates on them it's just certain dates are and certain dates aren't or certain years um so always check those these are cute little angels uh not my style so i won't be keeping those oh you guys i'm so thoroughly bummed right now damn it and i don't see the glass in here so i think he was already broken and i just didn't realize he was covered up uh, this is a, a lab, a retreat, a golden retriever. I'm not sure. He's cute. Not my style. I don't have one of those. We got this little dirty, scary monkey that looks like he's done some things. And his accomplice right there. And last is this cute. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> But he's missing something. Oh, I'm so bummed. Dang it. Whatever. I guess you can't win them all, right? So that bag was a flop for me. And last but not least, we got this bag for $249. And we have... That is horrifying. Look at these creepers. But I love it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. But man, look at these creepies. They look possessed. We'll put it in the maybe pile. Then we just got some regular Balbies that I don't need. And this. This is why I bought this. This guy. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. So I picked this up. He is thankfully not broken and all the little rhinestones are there 
They're definitely well made. It's very pretty. It's like a piece of jewelry. It needs to be straightened out a little bit, but that I'm not gonna open the rest of this because it's nothing. Wait, let me see what's on the bottom. I am so bummed about my stripper dude. He would have been the best ornament giveaway ever. Yeah, can't open them all. This is just falling apart. Oh boy. Anyways, this. Oh, you scared me. Look at Ew. And then there's just two little bulbs, but I'm just going to see what this guy is right here. This guy. And it is. Oh, they're cute. A little snowman and a little Santa, which I actually will use for something. And that's it. So, I wound up with this bin of goodness and this bit of shame. <laughs> so, I guess I'm going to have to put these all in a bag and just re-donate them. I feel like going through the trouble of selling them or anything like that. If it was something special, I would. Um, and I have sold Christmas ornaments for a good deal of money. It's just some are worth it and some aren't. So I'm gonna oh, what can I do? I don't think I can do anything but this is hilarious. Look at the little butt. Uh, well I guess I can take a picture and show them what I was gonna do. I have another gag one so it's not complete loss it wasn't my only but okay moving on I got this which I thought was really cool I love the lucite clear plastic look um it is a photo album it's magnetic um so you could put photos or a sign of some sort I was thinking of making a vinyl sign and then I think you just these are actually are really expensive I did look this up I can't remember if it had a oh it does Kinetti. I think this was like 50 bucks. So I picked that up for me. I love these. We had a mishap though. Okay, so I bought these first. And these were $7 for the set. And they're from... I believe they're from... Oh, they're from Hobby Lobby. They're so pretty. This crystal and then the crystals inside. So the three-piece set for $3.99. And then I found another beautiful crystal set with like bigger chunks of diamonds in them oh they were so pretty and they put them in my bag bad and they broke so i was very upset but i love those and i have those lucite candles that have like the different colors in them so i'm gonna put those in there next i picked up this hat for my daughter i don't know if it's authentic i'm not sure it's a north face it was two dollars and fifty cents it has the tags but you know how that goes. Even the fakes have tags. So for two fifty, I didn't think it was that big of a gamble. So she'll wear it. Um, next, obsessed with vintage furs. I got this guy for three ninety nine. It's in really good condition. I actually saw a, a stole at my Amvets, and it was so dry it was ripping. Like if you note for future if you do buy vintage fur if you do this and you get a lot of hair coming off don't buy it because that means it's just going to continue to come off um it wasn't stored properly but this guy was good and I always check because this is the worst thing you want is a fur that's constantly shedding um okay so this these three I picked up for a simple purpose however I'm not sure about this one now um, I picked these all up for their chains. Um, this, they were all, these ones were three and this one was four. Um, I bought them for, to reuse the, the, cro the crossbody straps. However, I kind of like this one. It's a vintage Ann Taylor. It's really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to D. So here's the. 
strap inside. So I'm just going to clip that off, take it out, put it back on. So open this, take this off, put this ring back on it, and then put these type of clips on the end. So whenever I'm shopping, I always look for long straps and I'll buy the bag just to take the straps. Um, so I picked that one up. These two are the exact same. These were $3 a piece. I picked these up for their straps. For three, this one's got a wristlet strap too. Um, and then I might just, cause these would still be cute for like a, um, I might leave, I'm gonna leave the wristlet strap in there, but these would be cute for like a giveaway, like a pencil holder, um, makeup case kind of thing. So we'll see, but I bought two of these to take the chains. Cause even if you were to buy these on like Etsy or eBay or one of those, they're still like 10, 15, 10, between 10 and $15 to buy them. So $3 is a good deal. Okay. Um, now this, I love scout bags. Um, they have a really nice, they're a really good bag. Um, this is, I love this. It's so cute for fall and winter. We usually, we used to do gifts, gift exchange with my friends. Um, but this year we're not doing it. This is what I bought this for. It was going to be the gift bag. I like to use these kind of gift bags, things as gift bags. So they're actually reusable. Um, and it has a Buffalo on it and a Buffalo charm for Buffalo, New York. Um, and it was five eighty nine. dollars It's brand new. It's a really good deal. I love it. So I'll be keeping it. Uh, the next other one I got was this scout bag. This was, uh, he wound up giving me everything for like six bucks. So it was like 99 cents, 50 cents. And it's this scout tote with, um, anchors looks, I mean, brand new. That was one of the things that came with something I bought. So I picked that up. Okay. Last but not least, I have a haul of things that were all bought from the same person. I paid $120 for everything. Everything here. $120. Now, if you watch my videos, this is the same girl that I bought um, the Louis Vuitton bracelet, the Fendi bracelet, and the Valentino bracelet from. These were all from the same girl. So 120 for everything. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, we'll do that one last. Okay. So she had them all listed for different prices for a long time. I asked her what she would take for everything. And then she gave me the price. Um, so two things I'm keeping for my daughter for Christmas. And the rest I'm selling. Because they're just not my style. Um, the first thing is this Dooney and Burke. And they're all brand new. Everything is brand new. Um... This Dooney and Burke lavender duffel bag, brand new, still with the tags, one fifty five. So cute, love that bright pop of pink. But again, not my style or my color. Um, I don't know. I mean, the more I look at it, the more no, 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 Christy, no. <laughs> I will talk myself into keeping a bag, believe me. But I've become such a a Louis snob, which I'm starting to change. I go through that. I will be just strictly like Michael Kors. And then I went to Kate Spade and then I went to Louis, which is a lot more expensive. <laughs> um, but I'm starting to get into Burberry and MCM and, you know, I have Gucci and a couple others, Chanel, but whatever. Next, this coach bag, again, brand new. Super cute black tote. Big tote. This is the inside. And this still has... I thought it had the price tag. I think it does. Yeah. I don't know if the actual price, price tag is in the bottom of one of these, but... It's this tote. Brand new. Um, she also had some 
Le'Veon diamonds, but I'm not a big diamond person. Um, and they were definitely, you know, a good price point for them, but I'm not, I wear my wedding ring and that's about it. Uh, next, another Dooney. It is this, again, brand new. I think this is so pretty. With the, is it orchids? Yeah. The orchids and the handle. The little tag. There's the... This is the back. Inside. Super nice. <clears throat> Um, the Louis Vuitton and that stuff was new too. I don't know if she's just like a shopper and doesn't use certain things. I'm not really sure. But I picked that up. And then the last two things I got were this. This is what started it because I seen this. Um, and she had it for I think like 75 and marked down and marked down again and then marked down again to 30. And then I messaged her. This is the Kate Spade. I forget the name of it. Oh, Down Dawn Place Velvet Plum Backpack. Originally two seventy nine, down to two nineteen. This bag still sells for two hundred. Um, however, I won't be selling it. This will be for my daughter for Christmas. Although I wanted to sell it because I'm like, oh, it's still you know could have bought her a different one and still sold it but I know she'll like this and for the price I got it it was an amazing price so I picked this this is going to be hers for Christmas and this I can't believe it will be hers for Christmas as well this is authentic all the bags are authentic all the jewelry I've bought from her is authentic this is Tiffany and Company It's got the blue around it. It's um, still on the website for two forty, I believe. Um, and then it has the gift bag. Just, I would be very, very careful of buying Tiffany unless you know how to authenticate it yourself. Which, having gone to Tiffany so many times and bringing stuff in, I'm now very confident in my authenticatingness. But definitely. This one, I don't know if this one looks like it may. She may have used it. I'm going to clean it up and um, give that to my daughter for Christmas as well. So, that concludes my haul. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Um, if you do, like, comment, share, subscribe. And again, if you want to see what I got for my daughter, what all I thrifted or secondhand bought for my daughter for Christmas, leave a comment below and that will be my next video. But until then, I hope you guys have a great week, holiday coming up. Um, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.